Fitness Sports. The Dunmore football team out on the practice field getting ready to go for the season. So let's hear from the Bucks in tonight's Sports Spotlight. It's kind of relieving, you know, being pent up inside all, what was it, three months? It's just really nice to get outside again. Yep. Yeah. All right, be aggressive. The Dunmore Bucks football team began practicing on the field recently, and for Coach McHale, it's obviously a great feeling to finally be able to coach his guys in person. It's been a great few weeks. Uh, you know, we were locked down, obviously, for a few months, and uh, we were on some Zoom meetings, and, and the kids did a really good job with that stuff, and, and the coaches did a great job communicating and getting workouts out and going over playbooks and stuff like that, but to finally get back down here, uh, and get some workouts in and, and, and you know for the kids to have a spot where they could go every day uh, and get out of the house uh, it's been a great thing for our kids and we're really happy to see it but practicing with safety measures in place is certainly a bit different for everyone well definitely it's changed a decent amount having to wear you know wear masks and everything and not being able to have everybody working out at once I mean it's tough but you know we got to do what we got to do be ready for this season and the coaches aren't messing around when it comes to player safety. We're doing everything we possibly could, uh, you know, with the whole screening process uh, and, you know, just reinforcing the social distancing and washing your hands and the hygiene, all that stuff. Uh, we've had some alumni reach out to us with some cleaning products that we're using uh, that have been really great for us. Uh, you know, wiping down all the bags and, and doing all that stuff. We're doing everything we possibly could to keep the kids in uh, the safest environment possible. As for the team itself, a lot of experience down in the trenches should help Dunmore compete for a title in District 2. I know we lost a lot of good seniors last year, but we also got a lot of good experience with all that, especially our big men. Big men got a lot of experience, got three or four seniors coming back, so I'm pretty excited about that.